Hello again, welcome to um, Kitchen Connoisseur, Linjani Lonke, Makadi Mese. Today I'm going to be making um, a keto pumpkin strala, sadza, or pap. Um, I'm calling it, um, I really like um, sadza or strala. I really, really like it. And when I started banting, I found it very difficult not to have istrala. And I discovered that you could actually make istrala using a whole lot of vegetables because all you need is your carb. And these are very low carb. So today I've decided I've opted for pumpkin. In place of pumpkin, you can use butternut squash. It does the same thing. So today I've put in about three cups of pumpkin in here i boiled it with a little bit of um, himalayan salt and we're going to um, very shortly mash it it's now soft i'm going to mash it in preparation for um starting to cook the uh, pumpkin so uh, pumpkin pap so um join me very shortly as i get ready to mash it right so our, our pumpkin is done now it's ready for us to um, start um, cooking so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mash this very, very quickly. I mash the pumpkin. Note that I mash it with um, just a bit of water and it's still cooking. I like it to... Um, so I've mashed it up and um, this is what it's going to look like. So you just use a masher and if you don't have a, a masher, just use a fork that should be fine so this is what it should look like um, as soon as you've done that that's what it should look like now um, to make it have a pap like consistency or a consistency as trial or sadza as we know it um, we use this um, sil psyllium husk psyllium husk binds it and just gives it that um, you know it gets it together so that it you can actually mold it into a bowl as you eat it now because I've put um, quite a lot of pumpkin I'm going to put um, two tablespoons of psyllium husk I'm just going to put two tablespoons I mean you could put a tablespoon or or two but I normally like to put two if I have a bigger uh, packet to deal with and I'm going to mix the psyllium husk and what you do is you just mix it and as you mix it, it begins to cook it. So we're going to mix this um, for a few minutes and get it um, together. So this is the psyllium husk and um, pumpkin together. And I'm going to just let it cook for a few minutes just to get together and we'll stir it again before serving. You can do this for about another two to three minutes. So we close it now. So this is your um, your pumpkin um, pap, yeah? This is your pumpkin pap. It's all done now, ready. And you just mix it and cook it, and that's what it is. It's ready and done, and we're going to serve it in a minute. Okay, so now we're dishing this. And normally I dish it into just nice um, size portions and I will um, wrap this up in cling film and it allows it to just set nicely and it's quite hot and there it goes on the plate and when I'm ready for a second one I'll do another one and this way you can actually store it in the fridge um, or freezer I normally just let it cool allow it time to cool so this is your cling wrap and you allow it uh, plenty of time to cool and once it's cooled you can just um, put it in your freezer and um, it's a nice way of just having your pack with your meal and it gives you an option um, when you're thinking about what else to have particularly when I'm having the African stews I normally want to opt out opt for this so there's another one and I think there's room for a third one and I'll do a third one yeah. so I think we've still got room for another one 
so I'll make the last one because it's always good to have some no matter how small you just add that and it goes in nicely there and that's part of what happens smaller portion but on some days you just want a small amount of pap so these are pap they're ready um these are pap ready served we're going to be serving it with some okra and some chicken stew i'm just going to get the um, okra ready and chicken stew ready our pumpkin pap is ready and with the pumpkin pap I normally serve it as I said in this plastic it's quite good in the cling film it's really really good and I, I'll put it there and of course I earlier on prepared some okra and I've added some chicken stew there it's the hard chicken the road runner chicken and I'm adding that and that's what we're serving it as um, today so a very healthy lovely meal keto friendly if you are banting this is your meal for you and you can't stay away from the pap this will nicely replace the pap give it a nice sweet flavor and of course um, really nice with your um, okra stew with um, the, the um, chicken sauce so enjoy this is your meal um, if you like what we're doing make sure that you click subscribe and you like and you give us a comment let us know how we are doing we can always improve um, some of these are just you know you we trial them as we go along but do improve um, thank you for um, looking at our site and we hope to see you soon um, with more videos next time we're going to be doing in nobi so make sure you're watching when we do in nobi and we're going to be doing fushu as well so keep an eye out and if you subscribe you'll get a notification of when we are doing our next video.